Hi folks, the Filipina Pee here. And you all seem to really enjoy it when I make videos showing you what life is like here. So today, I'm going to explain some of the unusual things you'll probably notice if you visit. Some of it is funny, some of it is strange, and some of it will be shocking. Did you know that most Filipinos will drown if they fall in deep water? That you can buy gasoline in a Coke bottle? And that if you go to court here, your fate will be decided by just one man because we have no jury system in this country. So sit back and get ready to explore some of the more surprising facts of life in the Philippines. So every time I do one of these culture videos, there's always someone who thinks I'm joking, that it can't possibly be the way I'm describing it. That's how different it is here in the Philippines. So if you want to know if it's a place you can adapt to, a video like this is a good place to start. So let's start. Want to play with me? A lot of you Westerners think of places like Japan and Korea as being synonymous with video games. And you've probably seen the big tournaments that they host all over Asia. So it might surprise you to learn that Filipinos really don't play video games that much. There are some really popular games that we play in our phones. And some Filipinos play PC games on their laptops. But for those of you folks that like to sit back with your Xboxes, Playstations, or Nintendos, you're probably gonna have to order your games online. Unless you live in a larger city, chances are there won't be one single game store in the entire town. And if your internet signal is as bad as mine, don't even think about trying to download your games or play against other people online. Forget about it! Almost no stores have a game department because most Filipinos don't have money for video games. Although somehow we find the money to get expensive phones because Apple stores are everywhere and they're always full. Filipinos always have been good at selective poverty. The crying game. When you Westerners laugh or cry, you all sound completely different from each other. Some of you have irritating cackles. Some of you snort through your nose. Some of you have laughs that are so funny that I laugh just hearing you laugh. Same thing with crying. You guys have everything from soft weeping to loud sobbing to hysterical wailing. But everyone's style of crying is unique because it comes unfiltered from the heart. I don't know if you've noticed this, but it's not like that here in the Philippines. Apparently, there's only one approved way to cry, and it's like this. <sighs> I have no idea why it's like this, but apparently, Filipinos go to crying school to teach them how it must be done. Because every single one of us cries exactly the same way, except for me for some reason. But it does bring up a good question. If everyone sounds exactly the same way when they cry, is it really from the heart? I'll see you when I see you. Filipinos don't plan their schedules in advance. And if you want to buy us a really useless gift, get us an appointment book. You might say, I'll come visit you on May the 7th around noon and I'll be leaving on the morning of the 14th. But if it was a Filipino, we just say, hey, I'm gonna visit you sometime next week, which means we might come by early in the week or as late as Sunday, or maybe not at all. We might come alone or we might bring friends and family without telling you. Trying to pin down dates and times from a Filipino is like nailing jello to a tree. Good luck with that. Whatever time we're coming is the time we get there. And you may have noticed that I didn't mention anything about a departure time. Because leaving isn't a when, it's an if. Sink or swim? The Philippines is made up of over 7,000 islands. And chances are, no matter where in the country you're from, you probably grew up pretty close to the water. Now you guys might think of us as living on the beaches frolicking in the waves and diving down to catch our dinner with our bare hands, as if we're all Aussie from Survivor. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but nothing could be further from the truth, and most Filipinos can't swim to save their lives. 
literally. If you have this really strange relationship with water, we're surrounded by it, we drink it, but we don't know how to move in it. We wear jeans and t-shirts instead of swimsuits when we go stand in it, but the art of swimming is something that baffles us. You'd think we'd be a nation of expert swimmers, but after more than a century of Olympic competition, we only have a couple notable exceptions, because as good as we are at singing, we're just as bad at swimming. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. I just explained how we Filipinos have a strange relationship with water, and you'll even see it in restaurants. You're probably used to being given a tall glass of ice water right after you sit down, so you have something to drink while you look at the menu. But not here. <laughs> Chances are, unless it's an upscale restaurant in a big city, you'll have to ask, or in some cases, beg, for a glass of water while you're waiting for the food. But don't be surprised if the water never comes, and you have to ask a second or third time for it. And it's not only water. No matter what you order to drink, there's a 50% chance that it'll never make it to the table. Filipinos don't seem to notice liquids, unless they're alcoholic. I'll be the judge of that. Imagine that you've been charged with a serious crime, maybe murder. And you show up for trial, expecting to see a jury of your peers to decide your fate. Instead, there's only one man, the judge, who's gonna listen to what you have to say and pass judgment on your case, potentially locking you up forever in a Filipino jail and throwing away the key. One of the things that might surprise Westerners the most about the Philippines is that we don't have jury trials here not even for the most serious offenses. It's up to one judge, not only to preside over the entire trial, but to render a verdict. So I know what you'll probably be thinking, and I don't blame you. What if you can't make the judge understand your argument? What if he's in a bad mood? What if he's good friends with the opposing counsel? What if he just doesn't like your face? Like I said, I don't blame you. If you're found guilty of a crime, you have the right to an appeal. But once again, your case will be decided by one man. If the thought of this process scares you, then you might want to be on your best behavior while you're here. I'm not sure why our system doesn't include juries, but maybe our wise founding fathers knew it'd be impossible to get 12 Filipinos to show up on time for a court case. BYOB, bring your own bottle. If you happen to be driving along and you ran out of gas, you can easily just walk to the nearest petrol station and get some more. And don't worry if you don't have a proper container to carry it in, because here in the Philippines, just about anything will do. It's not uncommon to see people walk up to the pump with Coke bottles to get just enough gas to make it home. We don't understand why you Westerners have all those silly rules about approved containers and we prefer a Wild West attitude, where it's perfectly acceptable to have people walking around with Molotov cocktails. Fight fire with fire, because we're out of water. If somebody gets mad and decides to toss one of their Molotov cocktails on your house, you better hope you're living in a city like Manila, where they actually have things called fire hydrants, because if you're in the smaller towns and provinces, then the only water you're getting is whatever amount the fire truck can bring with it, which sometimes isn't enough. Many cities are trying to add hydrants, but most places don't have enough, if any, and a lot of existing hydrants are rusty and hard to find. So they finally decided to paint them yellow, like they should have been in the first place. But if you're thinking that giant red trucks are gonna show up at your place and spray huge geysers of water to quickly put off the flames, all I can say is, I hope you have some good fire insurance. A new low for Netflix. I always like to tell you about differences in language that you might find interesting or funny so you can avoid embarrassing situations. And here's another one. To a Filipino, a bold movie means a porno. Why we took the word bold and turn it into something sexual, I have no idea, but we did. So the other day, 
My brother asked for my Netflix password so they could have some entertainment in the house. And a few hours later, my mom calls me up and asks why I'm subscribed to a service that offers pornography. You know how every Netflix movie has a little description underneath the title like suspenseful, thriller, bold, action? Well, my mom was convinced that half the movies on there were pornos. So I just said, yes, mom, everyone that uses Netflix watches porn morning, noon, and night. I can only imagine what she thought after she saw the ads for the Banger Sisters, Mr. Woodcock, and Fire Down Below. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this episode and maybe you knew all this stuff already. Or maybe you learned something new. But either way, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in just three more days. Till then, folks. Service Center, IT Department, did you try turning her off and on again? Okay, what model is she? A Tampo 2000? Yeah, the Filipina series is kind of twitchy. What seems to be the problem? Oh no, sir, that's not an error. That's actually how they're programmed. When you even just look at another female bot, it activates their temper routine. Did it just totally shut down for a few hours? Not a sound. Yep, that's what they're supposed to do. Just give it a while and she'll power up again. Anything else I can help you with? Staking cash out of your wallet when you're not looking? Well, we can try disabling the scamming subroutine, but that's usually hardwired into the newer models. Okay, it's obvious you're having a lot of trouble with your Filipina bot. Did you get the extended warranty? Yeah, I know, it's really expensive on that series. Well, maybe you just want to trade her in for a Western model. We're running a special right now on the blue-haired fembot. And one model in particular, the Karen 2023, is so cheap, they're practically giving it away. Sir? Hello? Hello? If you think about it, I'm kind of like your massage therapist, helping you relieve all the stress and worries about life in a new country and making sure to hit all the trigger points of local culture and costumes. The only thing I ask for my service is that you please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're not late for your next session. And please consider becoming a patron so you can see all the extra content and exclusive videos on my Patreon page. And while you're waiting for your next appointment, feel free to check out these other videos too. So, are you ready for your massage? I promise I won't rub you the wrong way, unless you ask me to.